Hi there, welcome to the channel. It's still second lockdown and it's a chilly Sunday afternoon so what better time to make a chicken curry on the fire in the back garden. Let's get going. So while that's burning nicely in the background, uh, let's have a look what I've got here. I've got some utensils, I've got a Dutch oven, mine is a Petromax FT3, and I've got some ingredients. So I won't go through everything separately because I will put it down in the recipe below. So just check out the description for that. And I am going to rather show you what and how I put it together. So let's start with the onions. You also see in the background I've got a little homemade tripod from three broomsticks and we'll use that and a little chain to hang that Dutch oven up on. So the Dutch oven's heated up nicely now. I'm just going to put a bit of olive oil in. It says about four tablespoons, about that much. I'm not too accurate on measurements, but it tends to turn out all right. Two teaspoons human seeds, so which is normally about that much. And what we are looking to get is a nice nutty aroma from that before we throw the onions in. So I've chopped my onions and that goes right in. Just let that sizzle for a while. This one I made out of sycamore. My wife's favourite. And this one, my brother-in-law was cutting down his apple tree. Apple wood is actually really good. It works been I've had it for years now. Working really well. I'm going to be using skinless boneless chicken thighs. And I'm just going to chop off this little bit of fat, just to make it a little bit leaner. Don't need that. Just need to check those onions to make sure they're softening off a bit. Oh, they look nice. So we've got our ginger there. Some garlic. We've got a lovely chili here. And you just taste a piece. So that's looking nice and browned. Get that in. Chilies, garlic, and ginger. So it's time to put in the spices. I've got some turmeric, paprika. and garam masala. In with the spices. Those are mixing really nicely. I think we can pop that chicken in. Chicken's nicely coated. 
with all those lovely spices. So I'm going to pop that back on and just let it simmer for a while and get that pepper on. that's looking really good uh, let's get the peppers inside and we'll give that a bit of a mix and while we're at it we better get some more wood on the go So we've got the yogurt and the tomato puree in there. That can go in. I've got 125 mils of water. About that. You can always put a bit more in. And I want to put some salt in as well. And that's about all. So we're going to put that back on the fire for half an hour, let it simmer and give it a few turns around and we'll see how it goes from there. So the fire's going nicely, it's nice and warm outside, the curry is cooking, it's four o'clock and I haven't had lunch so I've got myself a, a bit of cheese and biscuits with some chorizo and a glass of wine and I think this is the perfect time just to relax. So cheers guys and girls. <laughs> So that looks really fab. Oh, looks really great. What I'm going to do is take out these chili skins. So there's one of them. Should be four in there. There's another one. This is going to be for dinner later but I do want to give it a taste now. A little bit warm, but absolutely delicious. It is incredible. So thanks very much everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will certainly be enjoying that curry. So if this is your kind of thing, do subscribe and like. And otherwise, all the best everyone. I'll see you on the next one.